What is happening, y'all? Well, come on back. Let's continue along through chapter five. Bring this Let's journey on home. Please eliminate Ray Leonard's next, or Leon's. The Lynx is Anjou, the number three original. She's said to have taken down more ravens than anyone else during the National Dismantlement War. Though currently working as a solo commando, her activities all follow a predictable pattern. She's purposefully luring enemy necks out. Orleans is armed with a unique high output blade. Be extremely cautious when engaging in close range combat. Those are your orders. You can't lose now. Mm, maybe this is Moonlight. Oh my god, please tell me you're gonna open this little door and then come in. Come on, come on, come this way. Come on. Okay, staying right there, probably not the best idea. <laughs> I was thinking for some reason I'm like I'll just blow her up. That ain't gonna. That, she ain't even gonna hit me. I hear you're quite good. Enemy next. Oh, you're dead. Okay, well. Good try. Lamau, get drifted on! Get drifted on! Gun tank OP! It just goes to show you, it doesn't matter what FromSoft game you're playing, strength build always king. Yep, Moonlight, Arm Unit, and Flicker. Wonder what Flicker is. Hmm. No, I don't need that. I mean, that'd be great for uh, for PvP purposes, but. Engaging an enemy squad of super elite nexts. There are four nexts in total, and each lynx is a top numbered original. Be especially careful of number one, Berlioz. Berlioz's record in battle is peerless. He's extremely flexible in his thinking, unusual among originals. He'll use parts made by any company to win, and no one can argue with the results. This mission is extremely dangerous. Fighting multiple necks simultaneously will undoubtedly prove your harshest challenge yet. Those are your orders. Don't die out there. Combat is already underway. Get in there and provide backup for our allies. There are four enemy nexts. Our side is already down to two. They have the obvious numerical advantage. Divide and cost. Do they though? Its name was hilarious. <laughs> not yet. I'm not through yet. Is this it? Ah, I'm sorry. Finish this before me. Allied units, no less of me. Are strong. Enemy next. Rough cut. Destroy. What? What's going on here? You walking chunky. 
<laughs> Gun tank OP. Lamau, get drifted on. <laughs> this, this is my new post mission BM. Dude's like, oh, that junk keep as like two of his buddies die simultaneously. Like, wait, what? Damn, barely touched my quota. You were astounding out there. I can still barely believe it. Euphoria Addict and 051. Hmm. See, I'm always up for a new uh new shoulder thing. Euphoria, PA strengthening rectifier. Okay, don't need that. I guess it releases Kojima particles to restore PA. And I think it was this one, the ECM. Beefy boy requires no changes. He is ideal. Let's confirm the mission. Destroy Ray Leonard's central headquarters, Exaville. Exaville is an extremely unique structure. If you destroy the pillars, which are set in a fan shape around the facility, the whole thing should lose balance and come tumbling down. Ray Leonard's necks have already been exterminated, but Exaville is likely still fortified with a tremendous amount of firepower. Don't get cocky. Those are your orders. This should finish everything. Your objective is Ray Leonard's headquarters. Excellent. This is the last of them. Let's get to it. This is your final fight. Get through it and come home. Shouldn't have brought a sword to a gunfight. Y'all are getting kind of annoying. Killer doesn't look destroyed.
There we go. I'll take a B rank. We've received word from Emil. He says that Joshua was successful in destroying Akvavit, too. So, this is the end of the Lynx War. So many people dead, and the environment is shambles. All for such selfish reasons. It might still be going on right now if not for you. You've done well. Thank you. Let's go home. Back to Anatolia. Ray Leonard and Akvavit went down together. History's worst war yet came to a close, leaving the planet contaminated. It seemed that the companies were too busy picking up the pieces of the Shattered Order to wage war. Anatolia had accrued enough payment to survive for the time being. She requested a leave of absence for him, and I accepted. I suppose we were naive. The world exists in a continuous state of terror, convenient to its leader's purposes. Seed of barren earth. Ready to fight White Glint. We've confirmed an unidentified craft approaching Anatolia. That's... Why is that armored core here? Stay back! Something's not right here! Joshua O'Brien. Hey. I guess there's little need for words. He's a zippy boy. Lamau get drifted on. Hear me? Thank you.
<laughs> All right, I've never played Armored Core 4 before, though. What a weird-ass ending that was, dude. Oh, man. Beefy boy. So... C S A S C B C B C B C A B A C C A C S A C A B B A D S S S S A D S S S S S S B A. I wonder what like my overall rank would be. Hard mode. I feel like I'm probably probably like a B rank overall or something. Uh, but that was that wasn't bad. That was. I'm pretty short and sweet. Definitely a very, very different vibe from from five. You know, like the the perpetual hovering in this. Like even as a tank, I'm just like I don't leave the ground. I, or I I'm always off the ground. I stay here. In five, it's like you are grounded. You are a slow boy. Um, I mean, you you could get boosty in five, but like the amount of like perpetual tank hover I had, that is not really a thing in five and verdict day with a tank like. You're, you're fighting grounded, usually. Uh, but either way, that was definitely fun to at least check out, get an idea what it's like. Uh, this is actually like the perfect amount of episodes. I needed eight episodes because Atlas Fallen starts tomorrow. Uh, as for, for answer, uh, if we do play it, it'll either be after Atlas Fallen or potentially on a stream. But let me get through Atlas Fallen first because I'm not sure exactly how long that's going to be. But either way, I am glad I had a chance to go back and play another one of the mainline ACs. Because the older ones, I mean, I have them on, on Steam Deck. But, like, honestly, man, the control schemes on, like, 3 and prior are just, they're just not good. They're not good. Uh, whereas here, we are at least able to adjust it to, you know, even somewhat match uh, AC6, which was nice. But regardless... We're going to wrap things up here. So, thanks for coming along. Um, rest assured, AC6 is is uh, a much more fleshed out story than what you're seeing here. So, this is not really a good representation of what to expect. Uh, but either way, it was fun to do. So, y'all stay tuned, and I'll catch you soon with something different.